I guess we're starting. Um, I lost my job again. Um, maybe you're thinking it's a blessing in disguise, Ashley. Um, you're, you're right. You're right. It was a shitty place, places. But it's like, I was listening to this vlogger um, while I was trying to um, do laundry. And she was saying how there's this continuous pandering of how no one wants to work, right? And it's like, the story of Clarence, Tho Clarence Thomas, forgive me, um, how he was literally homeless and <laughs> he tried to work his way up and he worked so fucking hard. I'm not trying to compare myself to Clarence Thomas at all. I'm nowhere near as intelligent. But it's like, this could all be so easy if we all just cooperated together. And if we all just instilled work ethic into our children. Because <laughs> there was no such thing as lazy in my household. So why are you sitting down? And why am I being a bitch for telling you to stand up? You know? Um, but that's not that's not what I want to talk about right now. And maybe you're thinking I would I would hate to work for you. Yeah. Um why did I start that? What's the point in asking for a resume anymore nowadays? And I I, I know. I know you need to know if they actually have experience, but you could easily lie. You know, I have experience as a cashier at Cash and Care. Does he remember that? If you if you're from Florida, you remember Cash and Care? Yeah, I I know how to ring in items. Cool, you're fit for the job. You know, like I feel like there should be like an actual trial where I feel like I'm uneven with the camera an actual trial where if you're not for the fit for the position I'm gonna tell you this ahead of time we're going to give you two weeks to find another job and then we're gonna replace you you know like it, it just makes no sense to me like why are you even asking for the resume because I can easily lie like I can easily Google what are the qualifications to work at Chase Bank? Oh, I can say I worked at fucking SunTrust. Here's what I did. You're not going to check my um my references. So why are you even wasting both of our times? You know, either train me correctly, trust me, or just, you know, if, if I fail the qualifications, then... Give me two weeks to find something else. You know? Um, why did I star Schoolhouse Rock? I think we were watching Schoolhouse Rock last night. I know why. Okay. Okay. So we all know what's going on with Disney um, live action remakes and their cartoons right now. Um... And I was watching, we were watching Schoolhouse Rock last night. And I was like, God, I learned, learned, and maybe because I'm just a fucking nerd. Forgive the rhyming. But I learned so much from Schoolhouse Rock. I learned so much from Magic School Bus. And like, what are these cartoons they're producing now? Velma, this new fucking Peter Pan and Wendy Tinkerbell shit. What are you trying to teach them? That you can change your pronouns whenever you feel like it? That you can... What do you... I thought 
And like I said, I might just be a nerd, but I thought cartoons were supposed to treat you something. Unless it's like Family Guy or American Dad, but if that's the case, that's on late at night. You know, Toonami, like, the kids are asleep. This is something for the adults to watch, you know? I don't know. It's very disheartening and disappointing and kind of like... If those are the people in charge, why can't I find a job? Because I can pander too. I'll fucking pander to you. What, what? What's your pronoun this month? I'll fucking call you that. Just keep paying me that. Because that's what it feels like is happening. Um, um, um. When I was growing up, Disney was a reward. Um, got good grades. Um, I, this is going to sound so bad. But for those of us adults who are, hopefully you're an adult who's watching this. I, my kids, my, my kids, my, my, my channel isn't catered towards kids. Um, you remember regular paper, right? <laughs> Not printer paper, but like regular paper. Um, I always wrote outside of the boundaries, right? Um, and one day the teacher told me, if you write outside the boundaries one more time, we're going to have to hold you back, um, which I know sounds ridiculous now. But I'm a child and I'm panicking. And um, I go home and tell my mom, and she said, and she said, no Disney until you write inside the boundaries. So the next day in school, I write inside the boundaries, and I rush home to show my mom, and she said, you wrote on the opposite side of the paper, but she still let me see Disney. And it's like, that should be the reward, you know? I don't know. That was stupid. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is, in conclusion, learning was fun for me, at least. And still now, as an adult, um, I want to take on more leadership positions, um, which I know is a learning skill. Um, I think that I'm a, a great listener. Um... For some reason, I hurt people's feelings because I asked them to work. And maybe if, if you're a manager, you, you understand what, I'm, what I've am what i been experiencing, plural. So I, I guess I should give them, but I do give rewards. I, I buy them food, like I buy them drinks, like... And I'm trying to eat too. It's so interesting how like the telly movies teaches us better than books do. It's like our lack of patience. Is that what it is? Lack of patience? I feel like I'm just ranting right now. I do need to just rant right now. Forgive me if this is boring you. But and I also bit my tongue, so forgive me for also licking my lips a lot cuz like there's a sore right there. What are you waiting for? The clock out? So are all of us. We're all waiting to clock out. But while we're here, let's just talk to your regulars. You know, try tr or try to develop regulars. You know, get in, in a consistent flow. And it's like, I'm sorry that I'm asking you to, to find something to bide your time. <sighs> I don't want to work either. I want to be Prince Harry's wife too. But you know, here we are. You know? <laughs> um, I 
I guess we were watching Schoolhouse Rock last night because I wrote down um, there are no kids cartoons anymore. And what do I mean by kids? I mean, you can say like your stupid stuff like Courage the Cowardly Dog or Red and Stimpy. Um, or you could say something educational like Schoolhouse Rock. Or you could say something educational like um, um, The Magic School Bus. You know, now everything is just a copy, but race swapped, gender swapped, and they're not teaching you anything except the fact that anyone can be a boy or anyone can be a girl, but I still don't know what two plus two is. And maybe you're thinking that's your parents' job to do that. If I'm gonna sit my child in front of the t uh, in front of the telly <laughs> for the next two hours while I cook dinner, can you at least teach them the how how trees grow? You know, but like, don't shove it down their throats. Make it fun. You know, in the magic school bus, they would like drive up the tree. You know, like. <laughs> And whatever happened to the Muppets? Why don't we see the Muppets anymore? Or maybe, like I said, I don't have any kids. So it's maybe a good thing that I don't watch these cartoons. God, my handwriting so bad. Maybe have a cartoon where you teach kids to have good handwriting. Um... How do you know you're trying to affirm your gender and still be beloved? I think I saw that somewhere. Do you think that they'll love you? They love you less because of who you are right now? I understand that feeling completely. Not gender wise. I went through that period um, post-college where I thought that my family didn't love me. But then when I came back home, I was like, oh, it's just the people in my life. My friends, my boyfriends who didn't love me. And I'm sorry because I understand exactly how that feels. But that doesn't mean that you need to change anything here. You're gonna have that period of your life where you're gonna you're gonna hate your family. You're gonna be really, really mad at your your closest friends. You're gonna hate school. <laughs> You're going to hate your job, hate your co-workers, but this is fine. You can change your hair if you want to. I do all the time, <laughs> but don't mutilate yourself. Um, I mean, look at me. I'm straight and I still can't be hired or loved properly so and I'm a woman sorry I should have said that out loud I know that I'm not wearing makeup right now I told myself I was gonna put on makeup but I also told myself I'm gonna watch a sad movie and cry myself to sleep in the middle of the daytime after I do these chores what was the point I don't want to work in restaurants anymore. 
It's my birthday month. I want a new career path. And I know that I'll always be around stupid people. I understand that. And I don't mean to sound full of myself, but I don't think that I'm a bad person. I think that I'm very likable. I think that I'm very teachable. And I think in the right in, in the right environment, I can grow properly. Wish me luck or pray for me or whatever. <laughs> Ciao.